Ooh, it's not Friday, but we got a very special edition of the show. Claro Manzano here in behalf of Enrique Ortiz running it today. So Enrique, World Cup, Philippines. That sounds really good to me, right? Before we bring in our distinguished guests. I think you're cutting out, Enrique. But, you know, it's very exciting. And I think we can bring in, we got Olivia. We got Chandler McDaniel, of course, two of our idols. Hello, guys. Hello. How have you guys been doing as of late? I think since India, it's been busy, I could say, in a good way. You guys are you know, not overnight sensations, but of course, so many people want to get a piece of you guys. So how's life been? Maybe you can go, Olivia? Uh, it's been good. We've just been kind of relaxing since getting back from India. And just chilling out, resting, and trying to take in all the everything that's been going on. And it's been a whirlwind for sure. <laughs> it seems crazy, you know, with you know, the love that you guys are getting on social media. But Chandler, how about you? Very you know, exciting campaign for you too. Banging in the goals, got an injury, but you know, you were a vital cog to the team. You two sisters. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think Olivia and I have just been taking a much needed break. Haven't done anything athletic since we've landed, which was on Friday. So it's been a good few days. Um, we've been meeting a lot of people. We've had a lot of events with some of the other teammates who were here. So it's just really cool to see all the people who have supported us. And I've also been going to the doctor. So. <laughs> Yeah. Not as fun part. But other than that, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you can vaguely tell us, how's the knee been? I know you tweaked it a bit and you had to get off, um, leave, the, leave the game early, the last game. Yes. Um, I just got my MRI last night, so I should be getting the results of that within a day or two. So then I can figure out exactly what's wrong and then... I can make a plan with the coaches and figure out exactly when I can be coming back. But we're in high spirits, Olivia and I and everyone else. So prayers accepted. Thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. You don't need to ask. We got your back. And a speedy recovery, of course. You Thank know, we hope all of that goes well. And uh, I mean, how was the support from the family? You have your brother Finn, plays football too for the Philippines, and you guys are in India. How was that? Did the, did the McDaniel family turn the house upside down during the games? Anything like that? Yeah, and no. if you can go. <laughs> they, they, we have this huge family group chat with like our aunt and uncle and all of our cousins and our mama Lynn and Lolo. And we have like three separate group chats with everyone. And they've just been nonstop all the time <laughs> in Messenger just posting pictures and Facebook <laughs> and everything. And they've just been so supportive and amazing. Yeah, the support we've gotten just from our immediate family alone is insane. Yeah. I mean, now there's three of us playing because our brother Finn has been playing in the Philippines for a few years now. He even did the SEA Games in 2019. Yeah. So he actually beat Olivia and I at playing with the national team. Yeah. So we, we were like, I guess we got to get back into it because we've been around for a while, but this was our first major campaign. But it's been pretty cool because – we get to train together with my dad because he coaches us. So mm -hmm. just being able to finally like have all three of us play is like so such a big deal for us. And I know our family's super proud. So our family from the States and from the Philippines has been a huge support and we definitely couldn't have done it without them. So it's a family reunion while training. The three siblings and then your dad. I think you have one more sibling. Is that right? Yes, yeah. he's eight, Declan, and he's definitely following the path. So he should be here maybe for when he's 15. <laughs> we'll give him a few more years. But he'll definitely okay. Be he's <laughs> I think it's your younger brother, am I right? Little guy over here in the picture. Yes. So he plays football or soccer like you guys do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I do not want to go up against the McDaniel family when it's time <laughs> to play football or soccer. Enrique. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, yeah, no, I just want to again congratulate you guys for representing the country so well. Um, 
watching it over here in Australia, especially when you guys played against Australia. It's actually kind of funny because I was sitting in a room with a bunch of Australians being the only Filipino guy there. <laughs> it's actually really funny to watch. And, you know, you guys did so well. Even the guys who were watching with me were just like, wow. Like, they didn't, they had no idea, you know, that, that that's what the Philippines was capable of in, in terms of soccer. Um, that being said, um, how has everything been since coming back from the Asian Cup and, you know, the reception back in Manila and, and all of that? How's, how's that been like for you guys? Uh, everyone has just been so welcoming and just so excited and congratulatory to us. And it's just been, it's been nice coming back and getting some positive feedback from the media and from all the fans and our families here. And it's, it's very, we're very grateful for all the support that we've been receiving after coming home from the Asian Cup. Yeah, I think it's, so I agree with Olivia, but I will add it's, a little shocking, I think, to oh, have yeah. all these people like messaging us and coming up to us because, I mean, I don't think it's fully really hit yet that we qualified. But at the end of the day, I mean, we just did something that we love. So, like, it's just weird to have all these people like coming up to us about it. I don't think we're used to it, but we're just glad to be there for those people and the, have them follow us. So, mm -hmm. very grateful. Very good. Yeah, especially for well, I'm, I'm gonna bring out the. I'm also I also play um, in goals, so. Oh right, right. For yeah. for a goalkeeper like to come in, and and you know be a hero, it's it's one. It's not something that happens all the time, and two, it's the dream, honestly. <laughs> but it's how how do you like look at yourself, um, Olivia, as as that kind of like. I want to be a role model for future goal, um, women's goalkeepers. Like, it's not, I, I wouldn't say like it's as lucrative a position to play. Um, but obviously, with more role models, more people will want to do it. So, yeah. how do you like now look at yourself in that response with that responsibility in that way? Um, I mean, growing up, I was always looking up to such strong and powerful goalkeepers like Hope Solo and Tim Howard and goalkeepers like that. And being able to say that I, um, I'm a role model for people, it's, it's, I, I can't even say that. <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> to think about, but um, I think because of being a goalkeeper, it's that one position on the field where it's, it's you for 90 minutes. There's no subbing. There's nothing unless you get hurt. And, so being that strong and, and powerful person back there is so important and having such confidence in yourself is so so important. I remember during this tournament, our, the coaching staff were trying to instill in the three of us that you need to be strong and confident back there because it'll be very supportive and helpful to your team. And no matter what you say, even if it's wrong, say it with conviction and, and, be, and be strong and confident back there. And I think that's such a huge, huge thing to – be able to do and it's it's hard because sometimes you don't you don't have that confidence and it takes time to to grow and i think once once that you grow that confidence and you become confident in yourself you can be there for your team and, and be that brave and strong person to help help them on the field so that's the goalkeeper side and i like it oh wait by the way i think yeah. olivia's can making I just say, Clara? <laughs> go ahead go ahead uh, I'm so happy that we got so many good like goalkeeper people mm -hmm. on this show. Like <laughs> that's true. From Olivia to Ina and, and Quincy, and then I'm just gonna insert myself right in the bottom of that. But you know, like, <laughs> it's it's because it's not an easy thing. Like it's not an easy thing to do. And having more people understand it is. <laughs> yeah. But for for Chandler, okay, your sister's keeper. Enrique said it's not a lucrative position. Olivia made it look good with the penalty saves in the end. But let's get to Chandler. Scoring side, how do you feel with that responsibility of leading the attack? Simple as this. Um, I definitely think you have to have the right personality to be a forward. 
And I definitely think I have that personality. Like you're a little bit selfish when it comes to being a forward. Obviously, mm -hmm. I want people to succeed, but there's definitely there's got to be a part of you that's like I still want to I want to be the one to help the team succeed. And I don't think you can be a good forward if you don't have a little bit of that in you. Like Cristiano Ronaldo, he's happy when the team wins, but he's happier when he's the one who gets them the win. You know, so. I was super happy to support the team in Thailand and to get that goal against them when we haven't beaten them for 13 times we played them. It was, it was great. I was super happy. <laughs> <laughs> when that ball passed the goal line, we were like, oh my gosh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We couldn't it describe it. Yeah. But I'll take it. You only, you only need one. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, a goal is a goal across the line, right? That's why they have all of that stuff to confirm it. I don't know, Chandler, just want to add do you have that extra oh my sister's a keeper so the more i want to score especially if it's <laughs> against her in training <laughs> this easy in training to have a, a goalkeeper and a forward and yeah we can always just go do we're stuff always each other. Yeah. <laughs> exactly i mean okay chandler you get to practice your aim olivia you get to practice reading your shots and all of that but you know let's get to it you guys experiencing the philippines is this your first time here or you've been no. here a number of times how many no. times have you guys been here yeah this is our third time here so we've been a few times we were supposed to come you know a few more times but then the pandemic hit because yeah. our brother's playing here so we were supposed to come see him but you know things happen it's been difficult. Yeah. but we're gonna come back more often to make up for it <laughs> oh yeah for sure i mean you said it you're gonna come, come a lot of times but the pandemic you can't really control much in that situation yeah, yeah. but you guys visiting the philippines was there any culture shock like how different it is to where you are in the states or oh wow this is new um what is this or reconnecting with family or places that got your attention um i was like it wasn't a huge culture shock because mm -hmm. our our mom and our grandparents and all of our filipino family they've always done a good job at like teaching us about the philippines mm -hmm. So we've always known a good amount growing up. I think it was definitely the first time we came, it was just surreal because we were finally here. I mean, obviously it looks a little different than Southern California, uh -huh. but I mean, I wouldn't say it was shocking. I think we were just so happy to finally be here and the people here are so nice and we love walking around and we love trying all the food. We're, we're big foodies. So. Big foodies. Yeah, we're gonna get a big part on the food later on so it's just like more of oh you're expecting it and there's like that relief oh yay i'm in the philippines and you got yeah. to try you know all the things you wanted to do that's me going to california yeah, sorry, Clara, we're pretty <laughs> big foodies too. oh yeah we are i mean we packed up the pounds right after playing <laughs> but <laughs> how about your food experience that that's what you enjoyed the most what did you enjoy here um do you have your adobo or lechon you name it there's a lot the last time we were here, uh, my my mom and made me try well, all of us durian, and nobody else liked it, but I did. I, I did. love it. I, it's <laughs> so good. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm not a durian fan, but respect, respect. Not everyone loves their durians. I think Chandler, Enrique, and I like do not the so durian side. We don't favor durian. <laughs> Yeah, I like a lot of food, but even I was like, mm, no, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I love it. I think it's, I think it's I'll, I'll have to side with you there. You're in the kitchen. <laughs> Someone has durian. I mean, um, what's there? Durian. If you, get, if you can okay. get past the smell, honestly, it does taste good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, couldn't get past the smell of durian. So, sorry, pass for me. Um, Chandler, do you have your quote unquote durian equivalent? Oh, um, I mean, I'll pretty much eat anything. almost anything but that. <laughs> I mean, I love I love adobo. I love all the, you know, the classic meals. Getting to try them here is a lot cooler than um, my mom will make it sometimes, but we get it a lot more out here, so that's nice. Taste, of course, of home. So there, um, we got, this is Jillian Denise. You guys should try Batangas Lomi. Oh, yeah, that is something else, too. What's that? The, but uh, lomi is kind of like your soup with noodles. Ooh. Yeah. So let's add that to the bucket list, I guess, of the okay. McDaniels. We'll call our manager. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I will give Dorian a second go. Okay, no. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Do it. It'll not be the same. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. Enrique, you got something. Yeah, you put some cream on the durian. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it here, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mix yeah. of West and East, huh? You put the cream in the durian. I know there's durian ice cream. I'll pass on that first, yeah. There's oh. ice cream? I've heard of it somewhere. Yeah. I forgot the place. I'm not a fan, right? So I forgot where the resto is or the ice cream bar. So I'm sorry for Olivia. Yeah. Oh, Jimwell, have you guys tried Sinigang? Yes. Of course. Okay. Of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I had Sinigang for lunch. So <laughs> perfect nice. timing right there. <laughs> Enrique, I don't know. Dorian, Sinigang. Is there anything else? Oh, Do you know what I've actually had a slight craving for for a while it was Dinugan. Got it, Dinugan got was it. pretty good. Did I say it right? <laughs> Sorry? Kare kare, the peanut butter. Oh, kare kare, yeah, yeah. Peanut sauce <laughs> and just like oxtail. And we yeah. have a comment like for balut. We're getting to balut later. Oh, yeah. no. So I'm saving that for later. Kare kare is also good, you know. Sorry, since you said kare kare. kare, kare. like God. God, I know, dear. right? I love my kare kare from Gilligan's. There, uh, he's here. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm in the office and I get my Gilligan's kare kare shout out, of course. <laughs> Thank you to Stallion and Cuts for giving me my Stallion FC jersey. Thank yeah. you for that. Wasn't scripted, by the way. The girls just love their food <laughs> like we do. You know, I love my kare kare too. Dorian, sorry, but uh, let's, let's get to it. Growing up as a Filipino abroad, um. How was it to add to, you know, you guys being exposed to the Pinoy food with your mom? Was there the culture? Did you have your fiestas or anything with like the Filipino American community there? Or are you have a lot of relatives there, I guess. So maybe yeah. you ha I can say perhaps you had the full Filipino experience. How was it? Yeah, um, we definitely have a lot of Filipino gatherings. Um, one of our cousins actually just moved um, like 20 minutes from us. So we get to go to her house all the time. And growing up, since we were so involved in soccer, we didn't get to go to as many parties as we would have liked to. Mm -hmm. But now we get to, since we've been graduated from college, we get to go all the time. And I'm sure they're already planning for one yeah. best for me at home. I mean, <laughs> but um, it's just super cool to be with all of our Filipino side. I mean, they sure know how to party. They got the karaoke machine. Oh my gosh. Definitely, I'm not a good singer. I did not get those Filipino you know, jeans. Make us do with those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but it's definitely cool. I mean, like we said earlier, like our parents made sure that we know about the culture. So mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't say that like we we're missing, like we weren't getting everything. You know, like we definitely knew about it, and it's definitely cool to like still have that much culture while not being in this country. Yeah. And I think that's why it wasn't so much of a culture shock when we got here because it was so important that we grew up in, we grew up with everything, like being exposed to everything we could, especially our, our Filipino side of the family. And I think it was important to our parents, especially that um, even though that, even if we didn't play for the national team, there's a point that we knew about our culture and where mm -hmm. we came from. Okay, so I can say it. You got the full experience given that situation because <laughs> I got to meet a bunch of Filipino Americans when I was in the States and they're using all sorts of lingo, I could say. And that's, that's as Pinoy as it gets. I'm like, wow, okay. Fellow <laughs> Pinoy in the States, you know. I walked into a store in the States once and I spoke to the guy in Filipino. I'm like, wow, this feels like home. And <laughs> I wasn't home yet, you know. I was still driving to the airport. Enrique just clarified he likes Dorian, by the way. He just messaged me. <laughs> so okay. Dorian, Dorian is tied 2-2. Someone hit the someone in the comments, just tell us whether you like Dorian or not. We'll break the tie there. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Enrique, anything about your culture? Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I think the best thing about Filipino culture is that it doesn't necessarily matter where you are. Like being here mm -hmm, exactly. in, in Australia, like being with um you know my wife's family is very filipino and you know like just being with them it's i don't feel like i'm in australia i feel like i'm in the philippines and i feel like mm -hmm. it's every day like there were times where i would wake up thinking 
oh, I'm just back at home, back in the Philippines. And then after a while, I'll think, wait, <laughs> I'll see, I'll see my car on the outside, on the other side, like the driver's seat is on the other side, and I'll be like, wait, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> so right. it's really um, being Filipino is 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 really an identity rather than where you are in the world. That's true. Yeah. And the Filipinos who get to travel, let's say, let's say people have to visit you, Enrique, or the McDaniels going home. It's your job to bring the Filipino delicacies. You name it, whatever. Awesome. Yes, yeah, for. yeah, Paul Veron. I don't know. Family asked me to bring them sinigang powder also. <laughs> so you name it, you, you name it. But girls, this is, let's just take a, a halftime break. You can grab a glass of water or something. We got some messages from our partner right here. So we want to remind you, we're a member of the Globally Ballin Network. Do head to globallyballin.com for your original content. Content. Do follow them too on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Follow us on social media too. Um, who the heck are we itself? That's WTHAW Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and my new favorite app, TikTok. I'm still learning. It's been such a long time. And again, YouTube, that's where we are. Subscribe to us at Globally Ballin to catch your videos outside of Facebook. And if you're on the go, we're also on Spotify along with our sister shows. Speaking of sister shows, we got Hang Time with Denise Densai, my buddy Kiefer Reyes, the LSU Green Spiker, was the recent guest on the show to talk about his volleyball story. And then we got my Titos doing an eternity of basketball. They look at the golden era of Philippine hoops from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. They're live every Saturday. And then our many sponsors, Sorry, time out. We got Chops, we got New Era, Heneluban, our Fratelli Judges, Cookie Chum, and then we got our Aqua Flasks from the Daily Owls. Thank you very much. Chops to go, by the way, their branches are in SM South Mall, SM Bikuta, Bikutan. Let's name some of them. So do hit them up for your yummy chicken. And then we got Cuts Apparel too. Again, Cuts Apparel for your sports and office uniforms. Cuts and Gilligan set me up with this. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You can put your name at the back too. Check out um, Stallion's page for your very own jerseys. All right. So back to the show. Sorry, I didn't get the drink yet. <laughs> anyway, you guys, what's next? Do you plan to stay in the Philippines for a while? Chandra, are you doing your recovery here? Or will you eventually you know, head home first to get some R&R? Um, I think we were only staying here for maybe another week. Um, once I get my MRI results, we'll be here for, you know, a few more vacation days. And then we do have to go home because I know our parents want us back. It's like my mom wants her jelly window stash yeah. belts. So. There you go. This is your mom. Yep. Yes. That's, that's okay. Awesome. So hello, Tita. Yes. Good afternoon from the Philippines. <laughs> oh, let's go through the list. Um, You girls can comment too. So your mom put a bunch of stuff. So she said no to Dorian. So I think no to Dorian wins three to two. Sorry, Livia and Enrique. <laughs> you knew she doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. And then, this is your mom, but someone said they want the macapuno balls, one of the snacks. And then, oh, that's yeah. Right. You guys know the drill, I guess. Your mom wants her Delimondo corned beef. The stash is running low. So. Yeah, big Delimondo fans. Can't go. You can't go wrong with that kind of corned beef. Enrique, you need some? No, uh, corned beef. You're good. <laughs> you know what? I actually think there's the store. There's a store like 20 minutes from from where I live that sells all Filipino food. <laughs> Lucky. Definitely, like, definitely go there soon. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have that back home in the States, um, Chandler and Olivia, how you get your Filipino food. I don't know. Usually our grandma has to bring it for us. Uh -huh. I think if there is a store, it's like brand new. When Finn comes back and forth between his seasons, he usually brings us back. Yeah. And okay. everything. And shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with shoes. Bringing home shoes while overseas. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> one country, one new pair of shoes. That's me. <laughs> I wish, I wish. Not anymore. Not anymore. But anyway, you're gonna head head home. Are you gonna resume training on your own? Or did, or did coach set up a, a program for you guys? How are you gonna go about it? Or you have your dad too as a coach, right? Um, I think until we figure out if we're going to um, play with the team or not, we'll probably mm -hmm. just start training in with our dad. 
Just yeah. like always. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just go with the flow. Go with the flow. So, go with the flow. Yeah. So we figured it out. Yeah. I mean, you didn't spend Christmas with the family. Um, I think November you were already in California for training camp. Am I right? Yeah, we were there, but um, fortunately enough for us, um, the training camp um, was only 40 minutes away from our house. So we got to spend Christmas at home, but we hosted a couple of girls who didn't have anywhere else to go. So... We, we only had the day on Christmas and, like, late yeah. Christmas Eve, but we got to spend it with our family, so it was really nice. Yeah, we yeah. were lucky. We were really lucky, yeah. That was perfect that the training camp was right next or close by to your place. You know, we yeah. know that the women's national team, you know, through the years, did often hold camps in the West Coast. You know, mm -hmm. that's how they spotted mm -hmm. people like you guys, of course. We got so many <laughs> idols come through from there. And of course, it's amazing that you guys are continuing to inspire the future generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you guys want to get through the quick fire round? You know, we can debate a bit with the food right, right. here. Um, I might add a bit also. First off, you can point at the person or you can point at yourself. You can okay. name whoever <laughs> it is. Among the two of you, who has the biggest appetite? Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, balut or chicken feet? You guys get to pick. We haven't tried either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we have both right now on a plate. <laughs> I had to choose, Honestly, like, I'd probably go for the chicken feet. I think honest. I'd choose the chicken feet. I don't know though. Some people say they like both, but uh, I maybe would have to do with my eyes. I like both. both of them. Both of them are pretty good. <laughs> I had a uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry, what's that? Sorry, what's that? They're both. Maybe we'll one. try it before we leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm not trying to spoil it, but I opened the egg and I was kind of traumatized by the bug. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's normally you cannot right. distinguish. You can't distinguish the duckling. So one day I'm like, why is this unreal? Just put a bit of salt. It's oh, really good. Put a bit of salt and eat it. It couldn't. It couldn't hide it, Enrique. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's like the durian. Oh, you just gotta get yeah. past the. the you just <laughs> gotta right. get past the. Enrique eats the salt first salt. barrier. Yeah. Okay. I do. I do kind of. Eat. So you guys got your <laughs> you guys got your scouting reports. Okay. And I think we have Pedro in the comments. Eat it only in the dark. Yeah, that's what some people do. Okay. <laughs> eat below it, lights out. That's what they say. It's quite simple. Well, <laughs> problem solved. I guess don't look down too much. Right. Okay. Um, sorry, do we go through this? Ube or mango? Oh, ube. 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 Okay. Palawan or Boracay? Boracay. Interesting. <laughs> you guys are going the same answers. Eh? <laughs> well, we sibling goals. <laughs> sibling goals, of course. Yeah. There are one thing you get to bring to the USA from the Philippines, and you do not have to worry about putting it in your bag or getting it into the airplane. One thing. So you can Im go figure with your imagination. Hmm. I would bring the whole Nieros family. Yeah, probably the whole Nieros <laughs> <laughs> Or Tony <laughs> Wow, that can fit in the plane and you'll, you know, with much to spare. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay. A place you would like to visit in the Philippines. Or if you've been there, you can say, oh, hey, I love this place. I want to go back. What is that one place? Hmm. I want to go to Palawan. Yeah. Palawan. I saw that on the news yesterday when I was watching Olivia as a commercial. And I was like, where is that? I want to go. And Tita Pinky was like, we can go. So, or there's that one, what is that private island that there's a... What? In Palawan? Pal no. In Pangulashan in El Nido, I think. Balasin. Ba ba oh, there. Balasin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to <laughs> take like a charter plane. Yeah. That's one of the places too. So that's to add, of course, to your Boracay. Uh, Palawan is different, of course, you know, with the, the cliffs, you can go diving also in the area so yeah that is your bucket list enrique any quick fire questions for the sisters 
Um, hmm. Boots. Nike or Adidas. That's a good one. Nike. Like for cleats or just for every day? For, yeah, for every day. Oh, we can go like for boots first and then every day. Boots, definitely Nike. Uh, I have Nike boots right now, but they keep giving me blisters, so it's because you don't <laughs> wear tampons. Could be could be open to it, I guess. Um, every day, I have more Nike stuff. I think. I think Nike. I think Nike all the way for me. For you guys. But I like Adidas as well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with both, of course. That's true. They get the job done for you. <laughs> yeah, Nika, anything else? Yeah, carry on. No, that's good. Okay, we got something right here about the balut. Pedro saying that's why a lot of balut vendors they only sell it at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I think some people take it while drinking. I don't know. You see in the daytime too, but it's a pretty sound oh, observation. It's a good beer drink. Oh, yeah, it's a good beer exactly. food. <laughs> exactly. And then we got Delio Ramos. He was also saying Batanas. That's what he wanted to add up. Yeah. So we have here. Uh, the Philippines has so many Yun. tourist areas that, that you can go to. Exactly. Like exactly. you could spend a good three, four weeks just going around the whole country. For you sure. Get the, you get the most out of your plane ticket, of course. Yeah. But, but yeah, something I forgot to ask. Who do you model your games after? Two different positions. We can start with Chandler, I guess. Your idol or that person you say, oh, I need to play like this person. Ooh, that's hard. I mean, obviously, my number one is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's amazing. Ronaldo over Messi. Sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> right, well, that's a good quick fire question. Yeah, right now, I would say I really like Humin Sun. If you saw my celebration, I did this thing. Yes. <laughs> that was him. Uh, and big Kevin De Bruyne fan. I mean, he's so good. And then for the girl side, uh, we really like G from Chelsea, and we saw her at the hotel, and we really played against. Her. And we played against her. Yeah, <laughs> really fan girl. Uh, I was gonna, we wanted to get a pitch with her, but the Korea game was um, not a good time for me, so I didn't get one. <laughs> you get where you're coming from, of course, <laughs> with them as the opponents. Um, Olivia, your keeper idol. Definitely, for sure, like I said earlier, Tim Howard, Hope Solo, they're just classic, strong. Um, I also really like um, David De Gea. He's so He's unconventional, <laughs> as they like to call yes. him. He's great. Um, Hugo Lloris, I think he's awesome. Big Tottenham fans. Big Tottenham fans. <laughs> and I think there's, oh, Casper Schmeichel. Oh, yeah, Casper Schmeichel. Love him. Great. And, um... Yeah. West goalkeeper Ariola. So underrated. <laughs> Ariola. Yeah. He's great. Of course. Rep re represents. So you look at all these players, you take away these traits that you like or that inspire you, and that's the package that you have right here, respectively. Chandler, Olivia. So it's like getting the best of all worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So and we got a question here, I think. Um hold up. This, this was sent in. Do you guys have any concrete offers to play pro abroad, given that you had the Asian Cup to showcase yourselves? And you did well, without a doubt. Yes. Um, we haven't really discussed that yet. Um, so right now, like for me, I'm definitely just focusing on my knee to see exactly what can happen. Olivia and I are definitely both open to it. But I think but whoever wants to get us, we have we are a package deal. Yes. Oh. We play together. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Who's watching package deal? I mean, it's a complete deal, right? You got it shot stopping, you got scoring. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> what, else, what else do you need? <laughs> it, it makes a lot of sense, like for the press. You know, you got the striker to call out the press, and then the goalkeeper pushing everyone forward. There you go. So you got to hear it there from a keeper himself, right? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, before we wrap up, you guys want to greet your family, friends. Question, do you have a fan club? If you have one, you can greet them right now. Oh, Coach Ernie. <laughs> hey, Coach. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. I'm, I'm sound <laughs> Okay. 
Coach, thank you. <laughs> this is my good. <laughs> Finn is taking over Finn's position on the field. So. Yes. Okay. So Finn has to look out because the two of yeah. you will take his spot. I like that. I like that. So I hope one day we can get Finn and then we're going to have this debate. Like, yes. Like, Guys, what's up? Why are you taking my spot? Because right. <laughs> we know that Finn, you know, Finn can deliver, of course, late in the game, as we saw in the Copa, Paulino, Alcantara. And so, yeah, your fan club, family, friends, maybe you want to say hello to them. We can start with Olivia, I guess. Um, oh, Becky, say hi. This is Tita Mofel. <laughs> hi, <laughs> Nancy Mifel, we miss you. Um, I just want to say hi to everyone who's been supporting us, especially our family and our extended family. Thank you for all your support and everything you've done for us. I mean, it's it's really helped us grow and challenge ourselves and be able to do this all the way abroad. And we, we felt your love all the way out from here. And um, um, all your support has been amazing. And everyone who has been following us, in our journey in India, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, it's it's been incredible, and we're excited to keep going on this journey. And, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to everyone who supported us; it means the world. Um, just want to say thank you to our parents. They supported us, and they let us leave the family business for a little to come play. So and Dad has been training us <laughs> since we've been little, so could you be here him. without them? <laughs> Shout out to Finn. Um, I know he'll catch up in the ranks with us, and she'll play a lot. Of our eyes, so I have no <laughs> doubt he'll come up. Shout out to Declan. Homie got up at 6, even though he's like 8, so that was cool to watch us play. So thanks to all of our extended family who watched us. Um, just, yeah, thanks to everyone. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Couldn't be here without you. <laughs> Pedro said, Chandler, run like Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if this is cool, can you guys say hello to, is this Gillian? She said, shout me out. Can we flash it on the screen? Yes, Gillian. Denise, hello. yeah. Hi. All right. Oh, so, <laughs> nice to <meet> you. <laughs> Fantastic, girls. Thank you so much. I want to wish you all the best, of course, um, in your respective journeys. I know you're so busy. And we'll just put you backstage, and we're going to wrap up this episode. And uh, Thanks again. Bye. Um, we just want to say thank you for oh, having me. This thank has been you. really fun. It was fun. Oh, oh thank, thank you also. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. And just... Continue to support us, everyone, on our journey and uh, to see where things head. Follow us on our social media. We're going to be more active <laughs> and, you know, let us let you know what's happening. So <laughs> just keep up with us. Got you. There you go. Chandler Blue. And then for Olivia on Instagram, we got at Olivia McDaniel. So give your idols a follow right there. And again, have a nice day. Oh, right, you're into that Korean stuff. I saw you dance off too. BTS, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, put you backstage and yeah, again, have a nice day and take care. Thank you. Bye, thank Peace. you. Great episode, Enrique. I mean, wow, we are with our idols, of course, propelling us to the World Cup, and that's next year. Oh, we'll be here as well. The World Cup, the World Cup will be here. Oh, right, yeah. In in Australia, Australia, New Zealand. Yeah, and I think this is Temekula Hula Mom. Do this again. Oh, yeah, I'd love to, of course. Um, that was a fun fun chat, of course, with the sisters. We'll see if we can get Finn next time. We want to have that friendly sibling rivalry. And you can, things get different, of course, when you have your siblings, you know, on the stream or you know, whatever yeah. you call it. There's that there's that chemistry you don't have to ask for. I mean, you guys know each other for all your lives. So you kind of say it's expected, it just comes naturally. But great episode, it's great. You know, young people again, I mean, they no, have their sorry. idols. You're saying? Yeah. I mean, more so for them because they, they're siblings who play the same sport and mm -hmm. they're bonded by something so great like family and football. Mm -hmm. So no, no doubt there will be so much chemistry between the three of them. Yeah, it's great they're teammates. You know, the only time you'll see Chandler and Olivia go up, go up against each other, each other's training. That's for their own good. Next thing I want to see is Olivia... Yeah assisting 
Chandler with a long ball or a long throw, as we see on social media from time to time. But great episode, guys. We're still going to have another episode on Friday. This was just a special one we wanted to have just for you. So I think that does it. To all our listeners, again, thanks again for all your comments. You really made it a fun one with Dorian and all the Filipino food. Mm -hmm. I might have to give Dorian another check. So thank you. So I think that does it for this episode here. Claro Manzano, on behalf of Enrique Ortiz, Durian and Kareem, I'll consider it. We'll update you, of course. And bye for now. <laughs>